I was doing a live stream a while back. This is all like seven, eight months ago or whatever, innit? And I had some young you in the in the chat, you know, like the live chat of the live stream in it on YouTube, said to me, I think it was like fifteen, innit? Like, you know, some ways to make money and that. So it don't really matter about the age and I just remember the person, I remember the youth was young, like 15 years old, stuck out in it because most of the people them that watch man and join in the chats, at least 20, that man or 38, 40 years old and that in it. So it's mostly like my age range that man appealed to and that is between 20 and about 35 or something like that. So I just remember this youth because he was young, innit? Like, right, man's got some young blood over here, innit? Like, I think I even said that word for word as well. So anyway, um, so I just came to mind now, innit? And I just thought, you know, let me just touch on this subject. So yeah, best ways to make money. Go buy a property. You know, when you buy the property and that, you rent it out, that will bring you money and that, innit? You could become an electrician. You go out, you do jobs, and obviously you get paid for it. That's a way to make money. You can start a YouTube channel. You can write a book. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's all well and good, Jay, isn't it? Like, but you know, buying a property, well, that takes money and time. And becoming an electrician, well, again, that takes money and time. Starting a YouTube channel and getting paid from YouTube. That takes time and writing a book that takes time jay i want to get paid now isn't it see this is the fucking problem with people yeah a man want to get paid now there is no money right now you know yeah? your efforts today will get paid not tomorrow not next month maybe in a couple years you know sacrifice if you have no career right now the best thing to do the you know what, furthermore, the best way to make money is to invest in yourself. So let's say, for example, let's start off from scratch. Let's pretend that a man has no qualifications or nothing like that. Let's say a man just works in Asda. You know what you do? Stop going out and socialising and that, yeah? Forget all of that. And if you do make it, to the bare minimum, i.e. times you go out and what you're spending as well. So let's say, for example, a man works in Asda. Save up your money. If you need to, go to the job centre and apply for some kind of grant. I'm not saying that you're going to get it. I'm not too sure, innit? I, I, man don't know how the job centre thing works. Man will hold my hands up. Don't get twisted. Uh, 10, 11 years ago when man was 18, yeah, even Jay Wise. I used to sign on, you know. Yeah, man used to collect that gyro, you know, once every two weeks, yeah, at 10 a.m. Trust me, man know what time the money them drop in the account, you know. Yeah, man used to be on gyro and that, you know. Man used to be on job seekers allowance. I think it was like £104 or something like that. Anyway. So man ain't going to sit on my soapbox and act like man's never signed on and that. Yeah, he, yeah, even man like me has signed on. And, and was, was on um, Job Seekers Allowance at the job centre and that, innit, yeah? Go down there, I think my day was like a Wednesday or something, innit? And I used to lie to my, uh, I don't know, job job advisor person that I'd been searching for jobs, writing down some websites and all that nonsense, pretending that I've called them. Didn't do none of that, yeah? Didn't do none of that bullshit, man. I'm just on Job Seeker Allowance just to fuck about and get paid for free, innit? Um, <laughs> you get me, I'm not promoting nothing, innit? But, Certain times, certain people start their line off a job seekers allowance and that, innit? Yeah, get that little hundred and four pound and that, and then boom, they buy their first queue and that, innit? But shh, yeah, can't say that on this YouTube channel, innit? Yeah. But anyway, boom. Let's say, for example, a man works in Asda. Save up your Ross Clark pennies. Forget about women as well. Forget about women for a little while. If you do need to go out and socialise, keep it to the bare minimum and spend the bare minimum. Save your money, invest in some kind of skill or trade. It's only going to cost you about two, three grand to become an electrician. Now, some, sometimes you don't even need that two or three thousand pounds, you know, to become an electrician. Sometimes, if you apply for apprenticeship and you get it quick enough, the company will pay for you, you know. So they will invest their money into you so that you can become qualified and work for them 
full time as a full time electrician, gas engineer, or plumber or carpenter. Um, so they will invest in you. Once you do that, once once you're qualified in that, still, even whilst you're in training, obviously, still save your money. Keep saving, keep saving, keep saving, keep saving. And yeah, you're gonna have to live a minimalistic lifestyle. But once you've done that, once you saved up enough money, then buy a fucking property. Once you've got that property, you start renting it out. You're going to start getting passive income and that. Those, that, that. That is the foolproof plan. Invest in yourself. Get qualified. Once you start getting decent money, save that money. Go and buy a fucking property. Simple. Whilst you're doing it, you know what? Document your Ross Clark journey on YouTube as well. Remember, man ain't going to get paid from YouTube straight away, you know. You might have to wait six months or a year, or you might be lucky. You might be an overnight success, and and, and blow up, uh, you know, in a couple of weeks or whatever, isn't it? Yeah, but most people they have to wait a little while, innit? Yeah, you know, six months or a year or whatever to start making some money, innit? Yeah, <laughs> me, <laughs> man, man, man's been on YouTube for three years, ain't been paid a penny, innit? But you know, what? man's got perseverance and that, innit? And you know what, man, have to admit and disclose this information to show you, you know what? As much as man think that man is successful when. You know, whatever I touch turns to gold. Nah, fam. Not everything. Man's not successful in everything. So, man's here to prove. You know what? Yeah, you get me. Not everything that man attempts, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna succeed in or get the results straight away. In it. But man's trying to show you. Look, at the end of the day, man for persevere in it. I don't expect overnight success. Let me turn on this heat because it's getting kind of cold. And but yeah, the best investment is to invest in your fucking soul. Document your journey. Make a YouTube channel about it. If you can, write a book about it. I wrote a book. I'm able to sell that book. Imagine, I'm able to, I was able to uh, create something, pluck something out of thin air, package it, and sell it to people. I was able to create a book, my own product, you know, I manufacture my own product, and I put it out there on the market. And that. So, the best investment you can make to make money is to invest in yourself in it, yeah. But so this video ain't even about money making schemes. If you ain't caught on to the gist of this video, it's not about money making schemes. It's about investing in yourself and don't expect overnight success. Cause it's dumb. You're gonna fail if you're expecting overnight success. This is why us black people are in the position that we're in right now. That's why we can't run no Caribbean shops for more than a year, two, three years without going bust. Because man expect overnight success. Man expect overnight success. A man will open up a Caribbean shop, a Jamaican shop, and he will be like, "Yeah, I'm gonna hire these three people to uh, work on the counter, um, you know, waitresses and whatever in it, yeah, the chef and that. And yeah, the money's gonna come rolling in. I'm just gonna put the prices up sky high and that. And when the business ain't doing well, they have to jack it in. It's like, hold on a minute, blood. First and foremost, you should have been on the front line. See, this is the thing. Everyone wants to run businesses, but no one wants to run." wants to be on the front line in the business everyone wants to have workers but no one wants to do any work how the fuck are you opening up a caribbean shop and you're not there as the fucking head chef or the head person on tools or whatever how are you not working in your own shop but what man want to do is they want to open up a business and then think yeah in a year's time i'll be on some british virgin island or whatever in it yeah just relaxing sipping pineapple juice or coconut juice and that they don't work like that it does not work like that you have to put in the put in the work man put in the grind put in the effort for at least four or five years and then you can relax a little bit so long as the business is doing well if it ain't at that stage we keep grinding anyway invest in yourself stay wise done